Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we are looking at my generic stuff, my basic everyday run-of-the-mill silver. I got another little tiny little cigar box. These are great for keeping all your, you know, all your fun silver and gold in. Um, I put my silver in here in different boxes. I've, this is the one you usually see in all my videos. I put my, my favorite stuff in this one here, and this is always kind of changing. This one here has all my generic rounds, my generic bars, my off-brand private mint stuff. Um, so we're going to take a look at that today. And if you guys want to pick up a cigar box like this for your stuff, for your silver, I'll put a link down below where you can pick these up on eBay. They're pretty cheap. They're, they're not that expensive at all. Uh, but I'll link you down below where I find mine. Today I wanted to talk about what my favorite generic silver is. What is my favorite generic silver? Why is it my favorite? What's it worth? Why do, is it worth buying this stuff? We're going to talk about all that and more coming up in this video right now. Let's do it. This is just like kind of a video response to uh, Silver Cat. If you guys want to go spaz out on Silver Cat's channel, go ahead and do so with the link down below. Tell a monkey spaz sent you over there. Give him a follow. Give him a subscribe. He's new to the Silver community and uh, he puts out some pretty good stuff. All right, guys. So in this box here, this is a very small cigar box that I keep this stuff in. Uh, but we're going to kind of go through all this together. And I'm going to show you, kind of pick out what my favorite ones are here. Um, so right away, you guys can kind of see we've got... You know, the baby's first Christmas. These ones are generic, they're plain, not really worth much more than melt, but they do carry a premium when you go to buy those ones. Uh, down here, we've got the very first silver coin that I ever bought, which is a 1983 Engelhard. 1983 Engelhard happened to be the, the year that I'm born, and when I saw that in the coin shop, uh, I bought it. Now, I will say this, something I do regret doing, so if you're new to stacking silver and you find yourself in the same predicament as me, don't clean your coins. This coin, when I bought it, was all tarnished and nasty. If you look at one of my old videos, you can see what it used to look like, and it looked cool. It looked so cool. But at the time, I wanted shiny silver, and it was a dirty coin that I could clean, so I decided I would clean it. And you can see it's a pretty clean coin right now, and I kind of regret cleaning it. So if you're new and you're, you got that dirty coin that you think would look better shiny, it doesn't. Trust me. If it's old and dirty and tarnished, it's already old and dirty and tarnished let it be I mean unless it's like got salt wood or tarnish on it so this is this is one of my favorites because it's close to my heart so I like this one here um, then we're gonna dig in here some more you can see this one this one is probably one of my most uh, most valuable generic silver rounds now you can make some good money with these generic silvers um, most of this stuff you can find in the junk bin at your local coin store so get off the couch get off the computer Go over to your local coin store, give those guys some of your money, and pick up some of this cool stuff here. This was probably 16 bucks at the time when I bought it. Right now on eBay, this coin's selling for roughly 40 bucks, so I would say these are worth the buy. If you ever see a coin like this at a shop, buy as many of them as you can, as close to spot as you can, because these are worth it in the, in, the, in the long run. With these particular coins, this is the International Silver Trade Unit coin. They have a bunch of different types of silver uh, but these hexagonal diagonal whatever one two three four five six sided thing but these ones in particular here seem to be bringing in a, a hefty premium just because of this, this the shape of them you know what i mean there's not very many silver coins you see shaped like that so this would i would say is probably one of my favorite ones just because it's worth the most in my generic stack uh, i've got another angle hard in here um, we've got the zombie coin, which, eh, take it or leave it. Funny thing about this coin is it is not worth as much as this old beat up dirty coin is. Uh, this coin probably sells for like 35 bucks, something more. So maybe $30 online. Uh, but, you know, it's not worth as much as this guy. So newer is not always better. I remember when this coin first came out, everybody lost their minds over it. Everybody thought it was going to be the next big thing. And, uh, yeah, we're all stuck holding that one. So joke's on us, right? Uh, what else we got in here? We've got the Silver Bullet. The Silver Bullet 1 ounce. That one's okay. Brings a big premium. It's like 30 bucks online. Uh, this one here, we got a little angle hard bar. Now, one thing I'll tell you, any of you guys new to stacking silver, if you are looking at generic silver and you see an angle hard and it's as close a spot as you can get it, pick it up. Angle hard, you can sell all day long online. They're a great company. It's a great piece of silver to pick up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put all those off to the side. I'm going to put my favorites right here. So we got my angle hard. We got my funky shaped one. And we got some of the, you know, sunshine mint stuff here. 
none of this is my favorite, but this is good stuff. If you can get this stuff cheap, pick it up. It's fun to play with. It's like poker chips in your hand. All right, so we'll put all that stuff over there. We got some Mutiny Metals bars. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Mutiny Metals. I've talked about these guys a bunch in my previous videos. Um, this one here, I actually won. This was all thanks to all of you guys who helped me out. So I was able to pick up a four ounce thing for Mutiny Metals. But all of these Mutiny Metals bars all come with a premium and they hold their premium. They're very limited mintage on most of this stuff. They're always numbered for the, for the most part anyway. Um, so Mutiny Metals is fun. They are good, fun stuff to, to stack, to collect. You know what I mean? Um, and then hidden down here, which you can't really see, is a Sitting Bull 1 ounce silver bar. You may have seen this in a previous video of mine, but this one, again, like my Engelhard here, came to me dirty and dinged and just gross, and I made the mistake of cleaning it, and now it's shiny, and it definitely, definitely, definitely does not have the same character that it has when I first bought it. So again, please don't clean your silver. If you have some old stuff like this and it looks gross to you, just wait a year and then come back and look at it and tell me you don't think it's the sexiest damn thing you've ever seen in your life. So these are, are my top three. What else do I got in here? I got, uh, this is that Declaration of Independence bar. I got this one for $5. If you haven't seen my video on that, um, I don't know where I posted it, but it's somewhere in my, my news feed there. Then we've got the uh, Atlantis Mint Skull. This is a 3D skull. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to point out, too, with this Sitting Bull bar, this is raised. You know what I mean? This is not a flat bar. So this is like a 3D style silver bar. And on the back here, you can see it's kind of pushed in. Uh, 1973. But this is a very cool, very cool piece. If I ever see more of these, I'm picking these up just because you don't see them anymore. They don't make them anymore. Now, the Atlantis Mint Skull here is a 3D, like, you know, printed skull. It's got Atlantis Mint on the back. Th these are cool. You know, these are fun to pick up, but they, uh, they're not really worth much. I think the Atlantis, this skull was like 27 bucks, and when I got it, I paid spot. Obviously, when I buy this type of stuff here, my goal to buy all of this stuff is to get it as close to spot as possible. When I'm buying my, you know, the monkeys and things like this, you know, I'll, I'll pay the premium on them because I know that they're a premium coin. But when I'm buying all this type of stuff here, you know, these types of bars, I'm buying it as close to spot as I can. This I got for under spot. This was a great deal. Um, so, all in all, guys, I would say these are my top three. The Angle, man, I'm dropping everything. The Englehard 1983 Prospector for emotional reasons. It was my first one that I ever bought. The International Silver Trade Unit funky shaped six sided coin um, because it's unique and uh, it's worth a lot of money. So I'll take that one all day, every day. And then finally, my Sitting Bull 3D raised bar, which I just think is very cool. I'm going to show you guys a close up of it just real quick here. This is a very cool bar. I dig the detail in this old man's face. It's very cool indeed. What do you guys think about my top three selections here? Comment down below and let me know. What are your favorites? I wanna know, let's keep this going guys. Silvercat, you did a good job bringing up a good topic and I wanna know what you guys think. I put the question back on you. What are your favorite generic private mint silver rounds and why? Pick your top three, let me know. If you're on Instagram and you're not following me yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You get a slew of fun pictures just like this. I go live on Instagram every now and again. I got a giveaway coming up over there. I mean, go ahead and give me a follow on there as well. I have the same name, it is Monkey Spaz. That is all I got for you guys. I hope you like hanging out with me here. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, comment down below and let me know. And if you're not already subscribed, it is right there. Go ahead and click that button, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Peace out, YouTube.